welcome back to another video. Now today I'm playing FIFA 21. At first it's my first video on it. I, I just like, I've done other videos. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload them or not. So as you can see, I'm loading it. Now this is going to be kind of a rebuild video. So I'm doing Sunderland. I was thinking either Wigan, Swindon or Sunderland. I felt like uh, Swindon uh, would be one which would be more like, uh, I don't know what you'll call it, um, not rebuilding but building, I guess. So, yeah, I've got quite a few players that I've just wrote the names of next to me. Some ones that you've probably heard of, uh, some that you probably haven't, but I want to sign them. So I think if we uh, put this down a bit, we could have about 7 million, I think. 7 million is fair. Of course, I can change it if someone else I want to get. Okay, great youth academy prospects. I can put them up into the first team instantly. I think I will be cutting uh, this dude. Yeah, I I don't really mind uh, poor star free star. It's just, it's just like if they've got like one star judgment and five star experience, that never happens. But if it does, I would I wouldn't pick it. So I'll send you out three months to England because I don't want to be spending too much on youth academy. Uh, already, so spent a hundred k already. Now I'll be writing down. Well, I'll I'll be reading the ones that I've written down and put them into uh, a. I think I'm not sure if this counts it on uh dollars or pounds. I usually do pounds in my career modes, but I'm just reading this. This dude is the first player that I want to buy. Now, it did say, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. Then next is, oh, what positions do I actually need upgrades in? Because I'm not just going to write them, oh, I really need an upgrade in right mid, and I have the perfect player for that. It would be a massive signing. Oh, don't you look at it. Don't need a huge signing in those positions, because I've got these two. But first, I want to be looking at the players to either loan or sell. And I think just looking at the diamond dude... He's a player to loan if, yeah, he's a player to loan. So, what players are either really old or just aren't going to get any? Oh, I, I got to sell McGeady. And if I can't sell them, it's fine. This dude, I... Uh, I like, I know that actually, I like, I, I was actually alive when they were in the Premier League, so not that long ago. They've gotten, they've gotten much worse since then. Can't remember, uh, when they actually started going down because I'm, I'm not a Fulham fan. I'm a Wolves fan. So, yeah. Now, I think... I'm uh, not sure, like, what... I might recall some players that we did have on loan, just in case they're younger and maybe similar rating to the current players. But So, three players on loan. This is the only player that I could consider. Mm, like, not, not recovering, but getting back from the loan. Now, 
like I was saying before, a player that would take a big chunk out of our transfer budget, but 88 potential, 69 rated. And and what I've written down, I said he's worth 3.5 million. Uh, like I said, I don't know if that's in, um, what's it called? Uh, pounds or dollars. <laughs> I have forgot my own currency. Well, it's obviously not my own, but you know what I mean. Cheapest player I've got on here. I think he's a goalie. Might. Yeah, I think he's. I, it doesn't really matter. But I. Yeah. So, play for Schnecktal. A hero over it, and he's uh, 67 rated and 78 potential. But I wrote down players who tread like. 78 potential like him that's actually the lowest potential that I wrote down but uh um because of course dynamic potential is a big thing and he's already better than our current goalkeeper so I'm happy to sell Burge or however you say his name actually don't want I want to at least have a backup so I'll be selling Matthews and I'll be keeping Burge through. The reason that I'm keeping the lower rated one is because it'll be a bit mean uh, not playing, well, not playing the higher rated one. So I think uh, just before halfway through the season, I am really going to have to sort out this. And I hope that I can buy Dion Sanderson because in FIFA he's amazing. Uh, I've done career modes with Sunderland before or any other team. Like you look, like as for me Sunderland, I was trying to buy him after we had been promoted to the championship, and he was like past our budget in the championship as well. So pretty expensive. Seven minutes in already, just been checking the squad thing stuff. Uh, I don't mind if this video gets too long, but, well, I don't know if what you consider too long, but, yeah. Looking at options, can't guarantee you games. I'm just going to say the top one for all of them. I don't usually use chat, because I want to get through the career mode. So, what other players is there? I forgot to do them all. I'm not going to go to the, the promising ones because these players have uh, can have really good dynamic potential. This is the next dude I found. Well, I don't know if he's English because I thought that he's like, because obviously he plays for a German club and... Yeah. And then what other Oh, I had a player on there who's way too expensive for me right now. I'm doing this with my keyboard. He is called Enriquez. They're both quite young. Is that him? So, I, I won't really bother with that, but there's a player called that. I don't know, like, a lot of these players I just found, uh, I'm sure what, yeah, that's what I wrote down. Okay, I guess what I was reading was wrong, or I just wrote it wrong, but. Is there any players for loan? Any like actually good players for loan? Not saying that any players are bad, I'm just saying I want a. Uh, I'm a. Do Trevor maybe? Okay, so I'll just. Uh. I'll send forward to, I think, 
it would it it's a third so now one two three four five six seven eight nine I'll just listen to the day after, just to see if we get through. I don't expect us to, but I want to see. The score, yeah, we, we get smashed 3-0. Don't imagine we're going to win this, yeah, 2-0 loss. I don't think we're through. Unless there's just one team dominating, but there obviously isn't. So, one win, I guess it's decent. Okay, how much money do we yeah, Okay, decent amount of money. Oh, we got some offers. Oh, no, that, that's from one of my older players anyway, so. Can I negotiate a bit more money out of this? Like, I don't know, just, yes. uh, I think just a bit more than a million would do. One million fifty thousand, because every every penny counts. A pretty good offer for an old player. Oops, ah, oh, doesn't matter. Okay, so. I want to wait till those go through and I also want to, what I usually do when I want to find uh, young players is I just uh, search up first team quality because of course we're quite a small team and then I do this. So even if they've got one potential, or well obviously they won't, but let's say that they have one potential. We we could get them up to a 90 rated, but obviously you couldn't because there isn't actually enough time to do that. But let's see. Okay. So I want a young centre back. He's first in quality, of course. Because I don't think I wrote, I think I mainly wrote down. Now I'm going to see what currency, mm, what I wrote down was in, because I was just doing it off the website sorry about the lag uh recording and the uh, playing fifa at the same time does my computer doesn't really like it so that that's the reason that it's laggy okay transfer hub took me like five minutes to get here but i'm there so as you can see on here i wrote him as three uh, four point three. I wrote Sharky is three point nine. I wrote Trubbin as one point eight. So luckily, it's not like huge differences. Like uh, I got the currency completely wrong, but. Okay, I might have to edit two clips together because something just happened and I need to fix that. Uh, is it fine? I was checking so like, sorry guys about this. I have my pet just on my lap in. Yes on the carpet I think so that I can deal with it so Jensen I have actually used this dude before I managed to get him to like a, a 81 rated by the time we were uh, I think in the third season and he is still growing but I had two players, I think, and they and they were growing pretty much together because I got one youth academy player and he grew a lot in the first season. So Jensen, 
Chucky. But I got a pretty fair. Uh, yeah, it's fair. I'll go forward a couple of days and see if those transfers go through. Mola, I, yep, all of these players is like two or three thousand, two or three hundred thousand off. Other than this, of course, which I hadn't uh, checked in before. Uh, nah. Right, actually, what I also want to check is do uh, we have any actually young players already? Because I want to see if we. Uh, like we can bring any players who started off at the club with like no potential to really good. <clears throat> Some of the youngest are on loan here. And if they're not, they're rubbish. Actually, is he on loan? For you, he's not on loan. And I could loan this guy down to League 2, he'll get a lot of game time, and that's good. <laughs> I was doing uh, he won't want to come. Yes, the game has found the first team quality centre-back, who's young, I think. So, yes, that's one and a half million in the transfer budget. How nice does that look? Yes. Now, I think we've, how much have we earned? Oh, we've earned three point, so six. Uh, oh, merchandising is where we've earned a lot. Okay. Yeah, two big moves. Well, for the club, obviously, but not not like actually. And shirt sales, yeah, the, yeah, that's what's mainly giving us the money. Shirt sales, there. And of course, like it's weird because like even if you don't, even if you don't, if you buy a player and don't sell them. If they're a really big player for the club, you'll make profit off them anyway, because of how the game the game has stuff where uh, you earn money from shirt sales. So that's pretty cool. So those gents want to come to the club. Now I'm not going to pay the release clause because that's more than we have, and then I. Don't think he's worth that much. Can we offer... Oh, God, that's really loud. Can we offer him 4.8 million? 5.5? There! Yes, Jensen. Or Jensen, I don't know how to say his name. I just, some, I just call him a mix of both of them, Jensen and Jensen. I never knew which one it actually is. I have a feeling that if I delegate it, he's going to say no. So I'm going to negotiate it and hope he thinks that the club is good enough. <laughs> I think with the other players, I'll be able to do a swap. So, Jens, oh, I really don't want to have you for, yeah, two years' work for him. 
Yeah, I don't want to release claws because such a big player that I'll offer you ooh, um twenty three like hundred and ninety, is he happy with that? Yes! Jensen or Jensen into the club. That's just what I'm gonna call him right now. Jensen or Jensen. Into the club now. Next player that I'm hoping to get into the club is one of these two. I really like the luck of Moller. Yeah, but it says that he's not willing to relocate. That's the problem with big teams. It just automatically says that they're not willing to relocate. So, a new goalie might be nice. So, I'm going to loan to buy him. It's just sometimes, I think that's way where you can get Loan to buy. Mm. Yeah. We can get him next season. <laughs> well, not next season, but you know what I mean. Hey, oh, oh. I knew that that Jensen move would do a lot. <laughs> I think, like, because he's still 24, so that's what I uh, love about players like him. And at Liverpool buying Enzieco. No. <laughs> I'm now an absolute beast of a striker. I, I gotta start scouting him. I was like, should I accept this? And I was like, what strikers could I buy that would actually be willing to come to the club? And then I was like, I got a player who would be willing to come to the club. This youngster here, Charlie Kelman. I could loan him in, loan to buy him in from QPR, and he would do amazing. Now, looking at players that could buy, a lot of these players are like not good. So, well, they're good, but like I, they're not going to be in. Yes, Tom Holmes. Uh, nine days. Okay, I'm fine with that. That might actually be enough time for uh goalie time. I guess I could call it. <laughs> I accidentally clicked on this. It's just easier uh, simulating it when you accidentally click on it. Okay. Hume. Nope. Blocking off of the him. He's still quite young. So. Yeah. Can't get him yet. I have a feeling that I'll be able to get these two and Kelman. So yeah, I think I'll need to be in the championship to get Sharky. So I hope that he doesn't grow too much in that time. We we should pretty much easily uh, get promoted. I have a feeling that we're not gonna win it, but I think we're gonna get promoted. I feel like luck can get the teams in it. You can see the, the bottom three teams in uh in the alphabet for other ones that I was thinking about because I saw Wigan Athletic and I was like, yeah, they were pretty good a couple of years ago. Then I was like, yeah, Sunderland, they were really good pretty much the same time. I think that the... Uh, 
teams that are going to be fighting for promotion are ah uh, what's it called it's which and us i would say and wigan wigan us Hull and Ipswich. I, I don't really know much about League One. I don't know who's really good in League One or who's really bad, but I think they're the ones that I can imagine doing good in it. So, yeah. Okay. Can a scout report please come in? Like sold. I'll need to get. I, I'm going to keep this dude for a couple more years. I don't want to. Sell all my defense. Okay. I think that's the player that I was thinking of. Now is. Yes. Okay, I'm definitely going in for this dude. Now. Yeah, this dude as well. But this dude, obviously. Like, he's only got 700 wage. I'm going to give you, like, 2,000. <laughs> but 2,000 is that, isn't actually that much. Okay. And deal. Yeah, bye guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it's a bit of a weird time to end it, but my guinea pig has peed everywhere, so bye guys. <laughs>